You know, don't, don't spa- Ow! God! So hard. Do you think about joining the boxing team or something? Yodale, yodale, yodale. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I got ready and talked all about my first year at university and my tips for you guys. I talked about halls and accommodation, partying, friendships, exes, money, um, like the different lifestyles, like, um, yeah, that's what we talked about today on the Jeremy Carl Show. This video is also really kindly sponsored by Unite Students, thank you very much. I'm collaborating with them on their new campaign, The Leap, which is all about the dive in, oh, I'm about to dive in, whoa. And there's too much drama in school, all you gotta do is work Away, yeah, yeah. I'm collaborating from them. <laughs> I get so distracted. I'm collaborating with them on the loop, which is their new campaign all about the move from school to university, which I talk about later on in the video. They have a common room site which you guys can head to, which will be linked in the description, along with a little blog post that I wrote because you know I'm a little blogger with my C in English. Don't shout at me at this grammatical errors. I wrote a blog post more about my experience and stuff, which will also be linked in the description or on the website. I hope you guys enjoy the vid. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys get on with it now. Let me know if you guys want more university videos though. But yeah. Hi. As you can see, I already have some makeup on my feet. Just on my base because, I don't know, ask the government. Forgot to plug my microphone in. <laughs> S silly little ghost, silly ghost there. <laughs> I think the main thing people wanted me to talk about, why did I literally look about six years old when I looked up at the camera? I look about six years old right now, why? I think it's my hair. I can't be bothered to do it. Um, <laughs> rebel with no cause. Anyways, also the camera's a little high up. Let me just, let me just, let me just scooch it down. Forgot what I was saying. Oh, accommodation. So I've, I'm currently in my halls room. Grand tour. I'm not showing you beneath this because it's literally a mess. So yeah, I live in a flat of eight with a shared kitchen and we all have our own en suites. I think you've just got to sort of decide what you want. Personally for me, an en suite was a necessity because I am not going to be sharing a toilet with anybody else. Thank you very much. Much. But you know, if you're more of like a free kind of chick, you know, if you're the kind of chica who doesn't mind putting their butt cheeks where other butt cheeks have laid, then go for it. And I know it also does depend on money. I think when it comes to choosing halls, you've just sort of got to go for it. Like, you can't really spend ages thinking about it because you you just can't, you know what I mean? Like, the world just keeps revolving. Like, if you don't keep up, dude, you're gonna fall off. No, but I, what I'm, I don't know how to, like, put it into words, but what I'm attempting to say very badly is, like, I literally had no idea what to expect when I moved into the h halls. I don't think that you can really plan into it too much. I mean, obviously you can if you really want to, but I just think you should just pick one and go for it based on your needs and financial status. And also, some people were wondering if it was necessary to move into halls if you like live in the university city. You know, if you're just that kind of chica who's just going along as it is. I just, mm, maybe, mm. it's not a necessity. Like obviously you can still hang out with people, duh. But when it comes to freshers, it's really, e like for example, it was really easy for people in halls to just go to freshers events with people in their flats and then meet other people in their halls. And I think if you're at home, you might not be able to do that sort of stuff unless you knew other people going to the university. So yeah. I don't think it's a necessity, especially if you actually live like really, really near, but it does definitely help at the start when it comes to like making friends and getting involved and stuff. But again, not a necessity. Just if that wasn't quite clear, not a necessity. Thanks for listening. A few people also asked like if I missed home. Personally for me, Soz mum and dad if you're watching, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I didn't really miss homes. I mean obviously like how many times am I gonna say obviously in this video? Obviously <laughs> I did I do like sometimes, but I don't think I really got homesick. But you know, you are leaving the warm, tight knit grasp of your mother into her bosom and you are fluttering away to the moon, away from the nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Miss Homer, but I think that, you know, I'm an independent person. 
no, what the hell did that have anything to do with? I, this is, I've, <laughs> that was not normal. And to settle your nerves and queries and answering your questions, I will be seeking medical attention and help after this video is uploaded. Back to the video. I have picked the worst day to film this video because I can't form sentences today. Like anytime I try to speak, it literally just comes out as uh, 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 uh. I'm taking this shade from MAC. It looks so pretty. Look at that, look at that ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, do you see that? Cause I seen that, oh my God. I feel like I didn't actually tell you anything in that. In short, blue ones bring you up, red ones bring you down. If you know what movie that's from, best movie ever. I honestly, don't know like what else to say about hauls like also it's for what like eight months of your life and you can always move i think that's what a lot of people don't realize like the situation is not permanent like you're not gonna have to live there until you're 88 years old like writing your will on your deathbed like watching reruns of what do old people watch the news love island <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you can move. Like, I know loads of my friends who have moved halls, moved into different flats in their halls, moved back home from halls, moved into halls from home. Like, the situation is not a permanent. So, like, y'all just remember that. You know, just be a free spirit. Run free with the wind, running free with my hair, running through the wind. Top tip don't sing like that because that is a guaranteed way to not make friends. You've been watching Top Tips with Lewis with your host, Looking for Lewis. Okay, the next topic on the Jeremy Carl show today is relationships. Don't go to uni because you try and sit down and film a YouTube video and someone starts having a conversation on the phone to their mother in the hallway. Like, I think sometimes people forget that I'm a world-class YouTuber. The most subscribed person. They're so inconsiderate. Why are my lashes not coming? Ah. Oh. Okay, for some reason, these lashes on this eye just won't curl and I'm kind of over it. Like, you're ugly anyway. F off. Keeping it PG, just how I like it. Cheers to AdSense, ladies. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the next topic we're talking about is relationships. Because I am the relationship guru. Total number of relationships, zero. We're talking about all different types of relationships from boyfriends, girlfriends, fiancés, friendships, and marriage, if you're interested. Now, um, I am, in fact, the best person to talk about relationships. I've had a total number of zero. Yep, that's zero. Um, since... I was born, so um, if you're looking for advice, good thing you've come to the right place. And I would say don't get in one because as you can see I've turned out perfectly normal by not being in one. I think the first thing that I need to talk about, and it's the main worry of most people, it was definitely my main worry when I went to university, was making friends. Episode for friends who do stuff. I think it is easier than people think. Like, I've forgotten how you make friends. Like, I've had the same friends since I was like 12 or 11 before coming to university. Like, how how do you go up to someone and start up a conversation? I feel like I needed like a name badge that said, hi, my name is Lewis. And I went up to people and I was like, hi, my name is Lewis. I'm 18 years old. I currently live in London. I am a male. And a fun fact about me is I love ponies. But just make sure you get involved in the first week. That's Definitely a top tip. You're really taking tips from me. At this point, just click off this video. Like, I'm probably giving you all the wrong advice. On that first night, you know, get your booty out the door and go party it up. Because everybody else is feeling the exact same thing. Freshers is like a really easy way to make friends. If you live in a flat with other people, just like, you know, when you speak to them, just be like, oh, what are you doing tonight? You're going to freshers. And then maybe they'll know people, like maybe they're going to like a pre-drinks or if not, host the pre-drinks in your own flat. Go around and knock on people's flats and be like, Hi everybody, just me, the party planning committee. Well, and we're hosting an epic, awesome hoedown throwdown in our flat tonight. Be there or be square. <laughs> Uni started for me at the end of September, and I remember on Halloween, I had five people come up to me. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. Got an A in maths, GCSE. Came up to me and was like, I thought you hated me. Like, I always thought you hated me, and I always thought you were such a bitch when I first met you. Huh? Come again? 
Oh, I need to stick this eyelash on actually before the lash glue dries. I have the worst resting bitch face. Like, I will sit there. Someone will literally be speaking to me, like, pouring out all their emotions and life story. And I'll sat there and be like... I can't help it. It's serious medical condition and you can't just judge me. I wish that I smiled a bit more probably because I was having fun, but by the looks of it, you would have just thought that six of my cats died. So remember to smile, ladies. Turn that frown upside down. Also, another mistake that I made in Freshers was I made two friends on like the first night. We're gonna call them Patricia and Hand Sanitizer. I know that Patricia and Hand Sanitizer are watching this video, so... Hi Patricia, hi hand sanitizer. Uh, let's do a quick bedtime story with Lewis. Twas the night before, no, twas the night of first. <laughs> twas the first night of freshers. And one of my flatmates called hand sanitizer was just like me, you know, we were all into the same things. We followed the same people on Instagram. We loved makeup, we loved fashion. And we were like, and then hand sanitizer knew someone called Patricia and Patricia also was very similar to us and the three of us were like three I think it's two peas in a pod but you know this pod had three peas we're not gonna discriminate because we love all shapes and sizes of pea pods a key part to this story is both Patricia and Hannah uh, a key part to this story is both Patricia and hand sanitizer had boyfriends at the time so keep that in mind me Patricia and hand sanitizer you know we got on so well we literally did everything together for the first like three weeks we all wanted to do the same stuff, go to the same places. And you know, I was literally like, wow, I don't need to make any other friends. I have Patricia and hand sanitizer. We are the baddest bitches in this uni. If you know hand sanitizer, then you know me. If you know Patricia, then you know hand sanitizer. You know how it be. You know, the first three weeks was great. It was great. Everything was going swimmingly well. And then uh, the boyfriends came into play. Obviously, you know, they were all quite serious relationships with their boyfriends. Like, it was a few years, I think, both of them. But they started going home to visit their boyfriends, and the boyfriends were coming to visit them, and then they were going home on every other weekend, and uh, on the same weekends, and it ended up, like, I was on my own for quite a lot of the time, and obviously, because in Freshers, I didn't realise that that was going to happen, and I was like, I don't need to make any other friends because I have Patricia and a hand sanitizer, and then Patricia and a hand sanitizer have got with the boyfriends, and then it was... Basically, yeah, Patricia and Hand Sanitizer not ditched me because obviously they had boyfriends, like, duh. Like, if I was actually good looking, I'd be doing the same thing. Basically, I was on my own and it was really lonely and I didn't, like, have a normal, like, first few months of uni because Patricia and Hand Sanitizer were doing what they were doing with their boyfriends and I didn't have any of her friends to hang out with. And by the time that I realised this, like, everyone had sort of, like, made friends and though it I could still make friends, it was like a lot more awkward to do on your own. So don't like just be like, oh I've got my friendship group, I don't need anyone else. Keep making friends because like, it's just great to have friends because friends are fun and you can do fun stuff like going for acai balls and makachaka soy lattes. This literally sounds like the stupidest advice. Like my advice is straight up make friends but it's one of those things which sounds stupid but is actually something that's really easy to fall in the trap. At the time I didn't realise I was doing it, I just thought, oh I've got these two friends, it's great, I'm just gonna chill with them. And now that I think back, everybody told me before going to university that freshers is the main point for making friends and yet I was dumb and my two brain cells were like working my brain being like, oh we can only capacitate for two friends in this brain, it's too small for anyone else. I've lost me blusher. Patricia actually ended up dropping out of university. Um, yeah, R.I.P. Patricia, you are miss. So, like, that's another thing, and I know hand sanitizer now. She doesn't have many other friends, because she has also fallen in the trap. This is advice to you with boyfriends who aren't at your university. She fell in the trap of, like me, hanging with just me and Patricia, and then, because she was seeing her boyfriend so much, she didn't really, like, think about other friends. Now she's broken up with her boyfriend, R.I.P. No, he's not died, by the way. <laughs> the relationship's dead. She now just has me. Not a great one person to have. I'm sure she'll get over it. And that's another thing, actually, speaking about boyfriends. Don't get them, they are disgusting. No, I'm joking. Also, just talking about, like, 
flatmate as the next relationship, you're more than likely, like, not gonna get on with everybody in your flat. Especially, like, you know, I live in a flat of eight. I think I get on with two, maybe three of them. By get on, I mean, like, actually have conversations in some sort of relationship with. <laughs> not that I hate, like, the majority of my flat. Hi, my flat viewer watching. Love you. Clean your dishes, please. It's disgusting leaving them in the kitchen. Anyway, but, like... I think, like, when I came to uni, I was like, oh, flatmates, I'm literally gonna have to do everything with them 24-7. I see maybe three of them a week. There's two of them which I'm like, do you even still live here? Like, I've literally not seen you for about five months. Flatmates really isn't that deep. Like, do not worry about flatmates. Like, I was seriously worried about my flatmates, and I was like, oh, I hope I get on with them, I hope I like them, I hope they're similar to me, but it literally doesn't matter. I've just realized I've almost finished my makeup and I've still got loads to talk about. Oh my god, I've talked for way too long. Okay, let's talk about relationships and partying and freshers and the naughty business that sucks. Can't help you on sex because I am a holy nun and I'm not gonna have sex until I am 20 years into my marriage. Like, if you have never drunk before, don't feel like- I, Obviously, if you want to try it, try it. Go for it, girly. No one's stopping you if you're of legal age and you're drinking responsibly. <laughs> but don't feel peer pressured into drinking. You can have a good time without alcohol. Thank you very much. A common misconception. Let your hair down, you know. Give your tatters a little shaka shaka. Because, you know, you're only, like, young and- carefree once in your life. The other thing that people were asking about was like the leap between like sixth form slash college to university, both academically and socially. Socially it is different because obviously in college you just sort of see people in like college and stuff, whereas now you're like living with friends. You get a lot closer, a lot quicker at university to people than at sixth form, I think. Academically, I literally just depends on the course. I didn't even say what course I'm doing. I'm studying media and communications, by the way, and if you guys want a separate video, let me know and I can do that. Just depends on your course and what university you're at. Personally, for me, I have found sixth form to be more work, just because I was doing three topics and one of them, English, I literally found impossible, hence why I got a C. But I know some people who have gone to university and been like, oh my god, take me back to sixth form, it was so much easier. So that is literally just dependent. The lectures and stuff is a lot like more laid back. And I know when I was at school, your teachers are like kind of like on your grill, chasing you on deadlines, like their personal attention. And it's not so much like that. It's a lot more independent because you are an independent lady. Finally, we're going to talk a little bit about the moolah, the money, the dollar dollar bills. I mean that, oh, I just broke my necklace. Don't beat yourself up about money purely because obviously like if you're constantly in debt, maybe, or just maybe. But a lot of people get so stressed about money and they're like, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. And what they don't realize is literally everybody has been in the same situation. I do not know a single one of my uni friends who hasn't at one point in first year been like, fuck me, I'm skint. I think a lot of people have been like, well, my student, I, why am I trying to speak when I'm applying lipstick? I do this every time. A lot of hey, her were like, will my student loan cover me? But it will comfortably cover you for your like first two months. And I would say in your first month, don't get a job. I just think you should have fun, have a month, let your hair down and go crazy with the girly. You know, hit the club, be like, oh my God, this is a nice song. Yes, Lady Queen. I know a lot of my friends have found evening jobs over like daytime jobs and there are so many different jobs like do not think that you're gonna have to work like scheduled jobs loads of my friends i'm not sure if this is just a london thing but loads of my friends do this like hospitality thing they basically send out an email to all the people on their list with like we've got this event this event this event we need x amount of people y amount of people z amount of people and then you just reply to the email if you want to go that way you can pick your own hours you can pick which days you work loads of my friends work behind bars which is also a great way to make friends but i do think that it is important to get a job i'm blessed lucky enough to have this as my job. Thank you everyone for clicking those ads. Thank you AdSense for not demonetizing me as well. For the first like few months, I was so good at cooking and then I became a personal victim of Uber Eats and Deliveroo. Ever since McDonald's has been added to Uber Eats, I can't even switch the oven on. I forgot. Oh, Yarn, I just think that's just about everything that I wanted to talk about. Uh, remember to check out Unite Students and the blog post I did, because I'm a little blogger now. The link will be down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos about university, like uni vlogs or anything like that. And I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Peace out. I wanna but I'm broken hearted. Cry, cry, cry. But I like to pop.